Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Westcon Athletic Ceremony. Tonight would have been the culmination of an entire year of accomplishments. And although we are not together in Feldman Arena celebrating your success, we are together in heart and soul. We are together as one Westcon family. And to show you that I am not alone, I want to take a minute to show you that you all are with me. This was our first day together as one unit, one collective athletic department. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Let's see if I can get you back up there. Great. I know this transition has been difficult, whether it has been going online academically, perhaps it is the spring underclassmen losing out on their season and, and the opportunity to gain knowledge of the senior leadership. Or perhaps it's the seniors feeling the loss of not playing their final year. All of the loss you feel is real. I also know some of you have lost something even greater and are not watching this with a loved one who we have lost to COVID-19. I am deeply sorry. Our sincere sympathies go out to you and your family. We are here for you. We love you. And always remember, we are one family. This time has allowed us to reflect and appreciate things. And one of the many things I am grateful for is to be able to watch you represent WestCon Athletics. So tonight, we will celebrate you for all you have done individually and as a team. Thank you. Sit back and enjoy the ceremony. is fortunate to be supported both by the campus community and the surrounding Danbury community. Community service is a core value of each of our intercollegiate athletic programs and we are so proud of the impact that our student athletes and teams have on a daily basis. This year WestCon participated in the NCAA Teamworks Challenge sponsored by Helper Helper. This was an opportunity to compete against our peers throughout the country while giving back in a meaningful way. For the 2019-2020 year, WestCon Athletics received the NCAA Teamworks Championship Award, which we presented earlier in the year to members of Student Athlete Advisory Committee. We wanted to take this time to thank all of our student athletes, coaches, and staff who have given back to the community in a meaningful way and continue to do so each and every day. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. I hope the ceremony finds you and your family well. As I watched many of you leave campus at March, it was heartbreaking. But I also knew your resilience and understanding during this most difficult time of Westcon's history. I was asked to partake in this great evening, and I have the pleasure of presenting the overall team GPA award. We at Westcon place the highest priority on the whole educational experience with academic pursuit as a cornerstone of our mission. As teams compete for wins in competition, they also work to achieve success in the classroom. This year, nine, nine of our 18 teams earned a GPA above a 3.0, a remarkable achievement which I am extremely proud of. Now, for the teams with the top three GPAs. Are you ready? In third place, with an overall team GPA of 3.28, I would like to congratulate Coach Rupsik and the women's basketball team. Congratulations, guys. Great job. And now in second place, with an overall GPA of 3.33, congratulations to Coach McDonald and the field hockey team. Again, great job, guys, and uh, super performance. And now, number one, the 2020 team with the highest GPA, with an overall GPA of 3.36, is women's lacrosse. Congratulations to Coach Thomas and the team. To all our student athletes, congratulations and go Colonials. to present our Scholar Athletes of the Year. Student athletes at WestCon are committed to success in the classroom and in competition, a balance which requires commitment, time management, and a strong work ethic. Several of our student athletes achieve such academic and athletic success, but being a Scholar Athlete is a rare feat. Achieving distinction in the classroom and on the playing surface is an extraordinary accomplishment. Each year we honor the top male and female student athletes who have the highest GPA with a minimum of 48 credits earned. Those students truly embody what it means to be a Division III Scholar Athlete. First up is the 2020 Male Scholar Athlete of the Year. A senior from the football team from Torrington, Connecticut, majoring in political science with a perfect 4.0 cumulative GPA, Andrew Shemansky. Andrew is now a two-time winner of this award and is the ideal definition of a student athlete on and off the field. He is a student in the Kathwari Honors Program and a four-year member of the football team. He is the starting right tackle as an offensive lineman who helped his team earn a bid to the New England Bowl. He is known for both his high intelligence and toughness on the football field. Andrew, along with 39 of his teammates, were recognized by the MASCAC Football Conference as members of the all-academic team. To set him even further apart, Andrew earned the recognition as a 2019 Academic All-America Football Team Selection by the College Sports Information Directors of America. COSIDA recognizes the nation's top student athletes for their combined performances on the field and in the classroom. To make this honor even more impressive, he is the only student athlete in District 2 of NCAA Division III football to have a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Off the field, he is equally as impressive. 
He has explored other parts of the world by spending a semester in Germany as part of the International Student Exchange Program. He has also volunteered in various community service projects while at Westcon. These projects include the Danbury Faxon Marathon, a SAC-led field day with the Western Connecticut Academy of International Studies Elementary Magnet School, and volunteering for our career day. And while back at home during the summers, he volunteers with the Torrington High School football team. Congratulations to Andrew Shemansky on this well-deserved award. Our next honoree is the 2020 Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. A sophomore field hockey player from New Preston, Connecticut, majoring in Health Promotion Studies Allied Health with a perfect 4.0 cumulative GPA. Olivia Moore. Olivia is the center midfielder for the field hockey team. She started in all 20 games this year and played an integral role in helping our team complete its best season ever with a 15-5 overall record and 10-2 and in the conference. She was named our Rookie of the Year in 2018 and honored by the Little East Conference this year, earning Academic All-Conference and Second Team All-Conference honors. Olivia has also been recognized by the National Field Hockey Coaches Association as a member of the Division III National Academic Squad, as well as being named to the NFHCA coveted Division III Scholars of Distinction. In addition to maintaining a perfect GPA in the classroom and excelling on the field hockey field, Olivia works as a student ambassador in the admissions office and also helped moderate Schools app, an app that assists incoming students as they acclimate socially to college life. She is a two-year member of SAC and was just elected as the secretary of the HPX club. She participates in numerous community service activities, including Western Day of Service, our SAC-led field day with the Western Connecticut Academy of International Studies Elementary Magnet School, and the Haunted Halloween Walk. Congratulations to Olivia Moore on this well-deserved award. Andrew and Olivia exemplified the epitome of a scholar-athlete and are tremendous role models for all who know them. Congratulations to you both.
Hello, my name is Scott Ames. I'm the Associate Athletic Director for Compliance and Communication. It is my honor to present to you the 2020 Male and Female Rookie Athletes of the Year. The Rookie Athlete of the Year Award is given annually to an outstanding male and female first-year student athlete who served as a key component to his team's success. To be considered for this honor, student athletes must also show a commitment to academic pursuit while excelling within their sport. The nominees for Male Rookie Athlete of the Year are Franz Muhai, Soccer, Alexi Puyujin, Swimming and Diving, Jaheim Young, Basketball, Matt Forty, Football, and Augusta Smith Cross Country. The 2020 Male Rookie Athlete of the Year is a soccer player from Bridgeport, Connecticut, Franz Muhai. Congratulations, Franz, on this very well-deserved honor. Franz led all freshmen in the Louis Conference in goals scored, points scored, and game-winning goals. Franz was selected second team all-conference, and he topped his year off by winning the 2019 Louis Conference Rookie of the Year. Franz's future is very bright, and we can't wait to see what he accomplishes in his next three years as a West Con Colonial. And now, the nominees for Female Rookie Athlete of the Year. Maya Crows, Soccer. Maria Guimaraes, Swimming and Diving. Felina Sierra, Field Hockey. Sarah Silva, Tennis. Rory McMaster, Volleyball. Susanna Almeida, basketball, and Rosie Marquez, cross country. This year, two female freshman student athletes stood out as key contributors to their teams. Their successes were indistinguishable, and so, the 2020 Co-Female Rookie Athlete of the Year our soccer player from Bristol, Connecticut, Maya Crows. Congratulations, Maya, from the women's soccer program, the athletics department, and the university. What a great freshman year. You're a true inspiration to any incoming student athlete here at the university. Not only winning Western Connecticut's female rookie of the year, but also winning the rookie of the year in the conference. In that, being tied first for overall goals in season play as a freshman. Being tied first for overall goals in conference play as a freshman and also being second in overall points in season play as a freshman. Wow, what a great year. We're lucky to have you and we look forward to such a great future. I also want to take a second to wish all our thoughts from the women's soccer program to anybody affected in this pandemic. And volleyball player from Canton, Michigan, Rory McMaster. Congratulations to Rory McMaster on co-rookie of the year. This Irish setter helped us to a first place finish, 21-7 overall, 6-2 in conference. Overall, her 891 assists places her 10th all-time already. This six-time conference rookie of the week this year was the Little East Conference Rookie of the Year, as well as on the first team all-conference. So proud of you, Rory. Congratulations.
My name is Dr. Keith Betts and I'm proud to be your Vice President for Student Affairs. It is an honor and privilege to award this year's Athletes of the Year. The Athlete of the Year Award recognizes one male and one female student athlete for their outstanding performances in the athletic arena. These exceptional athletes are integral pieces to the success of their teams and lead by example with great character. To be considered for this honor, student athletes must also be in good academic standing. The nominees for Male Athlete of the Year for 2020 are Eric Caldwell, Men's Lacrosse Spencer Rano, Men's Soccer David Lawrence, Men's Swimming and Diving Fenton Bradley, Men's Basketball and Will Daniels, Football The 2020 Male Athlete of the Year is, ironically, from the same hometown as me, except I'm from Mansfield, England, and this individual is from Mansfield, Connecticut. A senior from the men's basketball team, majoring in interdisciplinary studies, our Male Athlete of the Year is Fenton Bradley Jr. A hearty congratulations. Congratulations Fenton on being named the 2020 Westcon Male Athlete of the Year. In just 24 minutes per game, you led us in scoring, rebounding, and gave us some of the greatest dunks in Westcon history, including a game winner with three seconds left. Your efforts brought you the Little East Player of the Year, a conference championship, an NCAA tournament appearance, and most recently the signing of a professional contract that you'll share with us soon. Off the court, when our van broke down this season, heading to the wake of a teammate's mother, you pushed into a van full of freshmen to make sure you could show how much you cared. Thank you for letting us coach you, Fenton. I'm certain we're going to be proud of you for many years to come. The nominees for this year's Female Athlete of the Year Award are Kaylee Panic, Women's Soccer. Molly Henry, Women's Swimming and Diving. Morgan Matthews, field hockey. Emma Chapman, women's tennis. Brooke Baldelli, women's lacrosse. Nicolina Chenard, volleyball. Gabrielle Herbert, women's basketball. The 2020 Female Athlete of the Year is a sophomore on the women's soccer team from Shelton, Connecticut. Majoring in Health Promotion Studies and Community Health, Kaylee Panic. A hearty congratulations to you too. This message has come from the Western Connecticut Women's Soccer Family. Kaylee, it's an honor and privilege to have you a part of our program. Congratulations, Female Athlete of the Year for Western Connecticut as a sophomore. This comes after your freshman year being Rookie of the Year for Western Connecticut and the Little East Conference. So this year, LEC Offensive Player of the Year, LEC First Team All Conference, led the conference in goals, led the conference in points. Great year, Kaylee, you really deserve this award. Here's also our thoughts going out to all our Western Connecticut family.
And now for the final departmental award this evening. The Colonial of the Year Award was established to recognize a student athlete each year who exhibits the following attributes, dedication to their sport, positive attitude, athletic ability, citizenship, character, leadership, and sportsmanship. They are expected to contribute athletically, excel academically, and serve the campus and surrounding communities. The Colonial of the Year is the highest honor bestowed upon a Westcon student athlete. While the 2019 and 20 year began with great promise and exceptional achievement, we have recently been faced with unprecedented challenges and numerous changes to the way we operate. Before many of them even began, their spring sports seasons were canceled. These student athletes did not have a chance to fully compete with their teams, win championships, or see the results of their cumulative hard work. We are particularly heartbroken for the seniors who saw their collegiate careers cut short. For this reason, the 2020 Colonial of the Year Award will look a little different. We will honor Colonials of the Year from the fall, winter, and spring seasons. So without further ado, here are the nominees. Jasmine Gray, Women's Soccer. Morgan Matthews, Field Hockey. Genesis Torres, Women's Basketball. Fenton Bradley Jr., Men's Basketball. Malik Dawkins, Football. Nick Fausto, Men's Soccer. Nick Edwards, Men's Swimming and Diving. Hope Johnski, Women's Swimming and Diving. Abby Debs, Volleyball. Kit Setong, Men's Cross Country. The 2020 Colonial of the Year for the fall season is a senior field hockey player from Bethel, Connecticut, majoring in business. Congratulations to Morgan Matthews. In three short years, Morgan has helped transform our program into one of the top teams in the conference. She has been an offensive juggernaut holding every career offensive record for our program. Morgan has led our team with passion, humor, and humility both on and off the field. As SAC president, she has been very involved in student affairs and activities and community service engagements. Congratulations, Morgan, on winning the Fall Colonial of the Year Award, and thank you for all you have done for our program and our university. Next, the 2020 Colonial of the Year for the winter season is a senior women's basketball player from Stratford, Connecticut, majoring in health promotion studies, wellness management. Congratulations to Genesis Torres. It's hard to put into words what Genesis has meant to our women's basketball program these past four years. I've watched her come back year after year a better player than the season before. I watched her earn just about every award that we handed out last year. Um, but I also watched her go down on January 29th at Eastern with a torn ACL um, and her career abruptly coming to an end. Um, and through it all, she remained our leader, the heart and soul of our team. Um, Genesis, you epitomize what the Colonial Award is all about. Um, we congratulate you, we salute you, and we wish you all the best in the future.
last but certainly not least, we would like to honor the 2020 Colonial of the Year for the spring season. For this award, we will be recognizing all of the spring sports student athletes who had their seasons cut short. While you did not have the chance to break records and win titles, we know that you all would have excelled and represented Westcon to the best of your ability. We appreciate all of your hard work, dedication, and commitment to your team and to the success of Westcon Athletics. Way to go guys, see you soon. Congratulations, we miss you and we look forward to seeing you soon. Well done, Colonials. Congratulations everyone, awesome job. We miss you, we'll get through this together. Congratulations, we're proud of you. Before I close, I would like to thank a few people who are a big part of Westcon Athletics. Their efforts and support are much needed and much appreciated. I would like to thank the dance and cheer teams for their hard work, their talent, and for enhancing our environment at games. I would also like to thank Dr. Brand, our team's physician and his staff. A special thank you to Mark, Pete, Pat, and Mackenzie, our athletic training staff, for the countless hours they put in into keeping our student athletes safe and healthy. To Mike Lago as our strength and conditioning coach, who works with many of our athletes to build strength and endurance so they can play at their best. I would like to thank our photographer, Peggy Stewart, and her interns for the outstanding photos they take throughout the year to capture our student athletes in action. Also, our incredible media services for their amazing work, not only during the year, but who worked on this ceremony this evening. I would like to thank our upper administration for your constant support, to the ambassadors for their support throughout the entire year, to Dr. Julie Pirelli as our faculty athletics representative, who has worked tirelessly on behalf of the coaches and students. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank the coaches for all that they do. A special thank you to facilities, Kim, Scott, Jeremy, Nikki, Al, and Caitlin, who, well, run everything behind the scenes. To all the faculty and staff, to the parents for your continued support. And lastly, and of course, most importantly, our student athletes for your time and dedication every single day. In closing, while I'm saddened for the lost opportunities that took place this spring, the reality is your health and safety outweighs everything. Please stay healthy, positive, work hard, keep moving forward, and most of all, stay resilient. Lean on your teammates, coaches, athletic staff, and administration for whatever you may need. We will get through this. And whether you are an underclassman returning or a graduating senior as an alum, we will see you again back home at Westcon. As we say goodbye for this evening, let's take one last look back and enjoy the highlights. Thank you for representing the best of Westcon.